Hello, welcome to a new video of the course about GIS for uh, municipality management. Uh, this video that will be the second part of the table uh, uh, functionalities, we're going to see how to join uh, tables. For example, we have uh, if we have a shape file with the neighborhoods of a town or a city, and we also have an external table with the population of the different uh, neighborhoods, we can join both tables. So we are going to create a new view and we are going to, we are going to change the properties, the, the reference system of this, uh, of this view. We are going to select this one, 26918, but if you don't have this reference system at the recent ones, you are going to select EPSG. And by code, you are going to select 26918. We press enter, and there's only one reference system for this code. We press OK and accept. And we have our view in this reference system. Then we are going to load a layer. We are going to add layer for, from file. We are going to add a new uh, shape file. That will be this one, neighborhoods of New York. We press open, the reference system is the same than the view. And here we have the neighborhoods. If we open the attribute table, we can see that we have different, different fields with the name of the neighborhood, uh, the name of the Bor the borough name, etc., the, the area, and we want to, uh, to add a new field with the population for the, the different neighborhoods. So we are going to show project manager to load a new table. We press new, and we are going to add a file, and it will be this one. New York City population. We press accept. And here you can see that there they are the name of the fields, so it hasn't been uh, loaded correctly. So we are going to delay this one. And we are going to load it again, but you can see the difference now. We have to select this uh, this option, use first row as header, the name of the fields. Uh, we have to select the, the sheet, that will be the, the only one, this one, and we are going to accept. And now you can see that the name of the fields are correctly. So here we have both tables, the table of the shape file without the population and uh, an external uh, table with the population of the different neighborhoods. But uh, we, can, we are going to join both tables. We are going to add the population field to this table, but uh, there are several options to, to do it. We need a common uh, field. In this case, we, are, we can use the name but if there is any space, any accent, any different letter uh, in both names, the new field uh, won't, be, won't be included. So uh, the, the correct uh, population, the correct number, won't be included in the uh, first table. So we need a number, because numbers are uh, unique, or a uh, code, for example, this one, the NTA code, you can see these ones, and the NTA code, you can see these ones. The, the uh, format is the same, two letters and two numbers. So we're going to use this common uh, field to join the table. We can access from here, create join, or from table, 
create join. We're going to, to select the, sh the table of the shape file that will be the table attributes of this shape file. Then we press next. The table that we want to join is the population. We press next. We have to select the common field in both tables, the NTA code here and NTA code here. And we can add a, a prefix. We can add a prefix in the name of the fields. So for the first table, for the uh, neighborhoods, we are going to add an N. And for the population, we are going to add a P, letter P. And we are going to select the, the fields to join. We are going to select only population. Then we press next. And we are going to load the, the uh, results at this, at this view, the only one that I have in this moment. We press finish. And we have a new layer, but it's a virtual layer. So if we open the attribute table, we have the fields of the neighborhoods. It has, uh, it has included an N letter. And at the end, we can see the population for the different neighborhoods. So we can see here the population of the neighborhoods with the P, the name of the fields, it has been uh, included a uh, letter P. And this is a virtual layer, so we have to export this one to a new file to have this, uh, this file physically in our disk. So we can export from secondary button and export to, or from layer menu, export to. Shape file, we press next. Then we select the path, results, and New York. I'm going to select this one, New York population, for example, the shape file, the new shape file. We press open, we press next. Reference system is the same than the view. All the records. And we want to add the layer to the view. We have a new message that is uh, the prefix. Uh, all the fields have a, a prefix. Uh, and uh, when we have a DBF file, the name of the fields only can have uh, no more than 10 characters. So at the fields where the uh, name, the, where the number of uh, characters are more than 10, they, has been, they have been uh, cut. So here we have the change that uh, GBC is going to, uh, to do for the different fields. We press OK and we close. So this virtual uh, layer we can remove, we can delete this layer and we have the new shape file in our disk that we can what that we uh, call New York population with the table of attributes and the population for the different neighborhoods. So uh, at this video we have seen a very a very important uh, functionality to manage uh, our data in uh, our city council. Okay, see you in the next video.